Here's a quick video on how to clean up your computer case. Every so often, it gets dusty. First, you gotta take it off the side screws after you unhook everything. And your case is like mine, some don't, but there'll be side fans as well that you have to unhook. Oh, look at all that dust. Nasty. And see how up in there, it just gets kind of plugged. All right, so these are four pin mole axles for the fans. Go ahead and unhook them, remove the side covers. Also, I'm gonna remove the video card to blow it out better after you're removing the screws on the sides. Unplug the cables here. They have a little clip on the bottom, you squeeze and they undo. Every motherboard is a little bit different, but the plugs are basically the same here. You press the plug here where the bottom kind of comes out. And then you can slide your video card out. It's more difficult than what with one hand than I thought. Oh, I so wish I had one of those helmet cams now. Hey, Jimmy. What? I need you to pull out the, uh, the video card. I can't do it with one hand where I push the thing and pull it out. Should be alright. Push down enough where you should be able to slide it out. There you go. Look how dusty that video card is. And it's a junk one. Shh. Don't listen to this hair guy. Okay, as you can see here on the CPU fan, it's a lot of dust right underneath. Uh, you gotta hold your fan still as you blow the air out. As you can watch, all the shit will fly out. And then you continue to hold your other fans as you blow. Along with your video card, definitely make sure you hold that thing still. It's always best to let the air compressor charge back up and re blow stuff out again. Alright, as you see here, I just removed the CPU fan off to the side. That way you can see the heat sink. You can see how it clogs on there. Sometimes you gotta break it up a little bit looser, better with like a little toothbrush. And then, and then afterwards hit it with the, with the air compressor. This, this here is just a stock cooler, there's aftermarket ones where the fins are spaced further apart for better cooling and they don't get plugged as fast. If you have a stock cooler, you should do this about every three months. And you can also use a soft tooth brush on cleaning off some of the other dust on the other parts as well. You really don't want to use any liquid or nothing at all. Now I'm going to hit it with some more air. Also, I'm going to be adding more ammo in here, so I'm going to get the slots cleared up. Alright, 
Now for this here CPU fan, it just snaps right back down there on there. Different CPU fans come out different ways. This one here will slide into the back. And the front part will snap right down. And everything is always easier with two hands. Do you want me to record it right now? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so to put more RAM in, if you have empty slots, you can see I have two here. Pull these little white tabs back here. Make sure you have the notch lined up. Make sure you have the right type of RAM. If you're not sure what type of RAM your motherboard takes, read the manual. There's a lot of information in there. If you don't have the manual, you can download it from your motherboard's manufacturer website. After it's snapped in there nice and tight, you should be all set to go. I'm going to put the video card up in here. In case if y'all don't know how to uh, put a video card in, it goes in the PCI Express 16 slot. Make sure you have enough room. Most good video cards are a little bit long. This is a GTX 670, 4 gigs of DDR5. And it requires two 6 pins. Then afterwards, screw your screws back in. Then yeah. make sure everything posts fine. So I'm going to have a total of 24 gigs of RAM now. These are each 8 gig sticks. This is just an AMD 8 core processor, clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, yeah.